Hello everyone and happy autumn. It is a beautiful clear 55 degree day here in Tennessee and I wanted to go over some moss tips for you. Um, I've had several questions about how to keep white mold from forming on top of your moss and also some general moss care tips that I thought I would just kind of go over with you today. So these orchids here most of these are my dendrobiums that are in moss and also some fowls that are in moss. These are all in either New Zealand sphagnum moss or better grow orchid grade moss. And I have these sitting in front of these eastern facing windows so that they get plenty of morning sunlight and also they get some dispersed western light. So they get plenty of light through a day. So I found that when they get plenty of light, especially in the morning, it seems like that mold does not grow on the top of the pots. That is definitely a bonus. So I try to put them in as bright a situation as I possibly can this time of the year. And another thing to keep in mind is your air circulation. I have a ceiling fan running back in my sunroom all the time. That keeps that white mold from forming as well. And I have a, another grow room upstairs in my house. And I have a small room fan that I place beside my grow table. And that really does help. The air circulation keeps the um, moss from being wet for too long a period of time. And that's usually when you're gonna get problems with that white mold growing on the top of your pot. And this is one of my fowls that I repotted about five months ago. And when I first repotted it, it did fine. There was no white mold at all until about a week ago. And all of a sudden I had white mold everywhere. So I checked and what had happened was when I repotted this, I tend, to, I tend to kind of put too much moss on the top of the pot. What I do is I rehydrate my moss and I kind of tend to think, well, I need to use all of that moss. Well, sometimes it's too much. So when there's too much moss in your pot, you're going to get this white mold. So if you'll go through and check to make sure that you don't have too much moss in your pots, that's going to help a great deal. Um, there's still a little bit right in here, but I just had to remove a little bit. It made a big difference. And also watering. The correct amount of water is very important this time of year. A few weeks ago, I was watering this huge nine inch pot about once a week. Um, now I'm going to only water this one about every two or two and a half weeks. As you see, I watered this a week and a half ago and there is still plenty of moisture in this pot. The thing to keep in mind with your moss orchids is that water moves by capillary action in moss. In other words, it's gonna dry out from the bottom to the top. So when you fill in here and you feel moisture on the top of your moss, then you know there's still moisture in there. When you lift this pot, if you feel that it is heavy with moisture, then you know it's not time to water yet. Um, that is a big adjustment for me to go from summertime watering to cooler weather. Uh, it's a big adjustment and just make sure that you're not over watering your moss this time of the year. Let me give you another example. These are my miniature Phalaenopsis, and I normally water these about every five or six days in the summertime, and now I'm going to be watering them probably every 10 to 11 days. So I hope you all are just having a fabulous day. Be highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed, and we will talk to you all next time.